for the best. Good morning. We are out here today. Late start to the day. It's 8.35 right now. I was supposed to be here at 6.30. Was supposed to get up at 4.55, 5 o'clock in the morning. Couldn't get up this morning. Slow start. Didn't shave. Didn't eat. Just grabbed a coffee and headed out. So late start, but we're at one of my favorite ponds. Fished this pond probably over 20 times in the last 5, 10 years. And one of my greatest fishing losses came from this pond. Probably about six years ago, I was fishing back where we're headed in a couple minutes. All these lily pads, I'm bringing in a frog and just boom, out through the water like a 45 inch pike just smoked my topwater frog, not even 20 feet from my kayak and I lost it. So um, I come back pretty much every summer, try to catch one of those, there's giant bass in here. There's also some bowfin, um, which not to be confused with snakeheads, bowfins do naturally reproduce here in the in New York state. So I'm gonna try and catch some big fish today, great conditions. And there's even some little back channels and eddies that kind of fly the drone up and get some cool shots. So come along on today's adventure. We're gonna catch some really cool fish. I wasn't even paying attention. And that hit me in that slop. Oh, he's coming, he wants it, he wants it. There's a hungry bass in there. Here we go, first fish of the day. Oh, that frog wasn't even really hooked. And that gives us a sign. So what you just saw, we fished along that whole weed edge with a jig and nothing. We switched the frog, it's probably about my 15th, 20th cast. Let's put this fish back and I'll explain. That fish took me in this that green slop right there, which is exactly what um, this is right here. Not the lily pads. And that's a pattern I've seen here over the years that they will actually bite me in the thickest stuff possible. So for the next stretch of little pond here, I'm gonna fish this thick green stuff. I'll also fish the lily pads, but I'm gonna target, like my next cast is gonna be right there, in that thick stuff. Let's see. Ooh, what was that? I wonder if that was a hungry one. home. Can't forget about this right side. I have only been looking left. Got him. Oh, this is a nice one. Stay hooked. Come on. Whew. I don't know if he's still hooked. I really don't know if this is still hooked. My drone's about to die. I gotta at least get it over so I can maybe catch it in the air. It's right over me. Come on, don't die on me now. I'm not going to be able to safely land it because I'm over water. Got 
Oh, whew. that was a close one. All right, let's get out of the swamp here, this little back area, and go hit the main lake. Too shallow, not much fish back here. Very cool to see though. See if he comes back. Got him. He's not that big. There we go. Not huge, but still fun to catch. Pike would maybe come and scoop him up, but it didn't happen. All right. Now we're in a nice frogging spot. That didn't take long. One hooked up just smoked me. I don't want to pull too hard. He's definitely still on. He might be bigger than I think he is just because of all this stuff on here, but. There you go. A better one. By no means this is a huge fish, but a slow day. I didn't catch any in those cattails this morning. And I've only caught six. This is my sixth one, all in the frog. Now, I know there's bigger ones out here, but first fish in an hour and a half, so definitely been a grind. Let's put it back. Friendly reminder, every time you catch a fish, especially a bigger one, make sure you check your line, check your knots, because sometimes it'll nick the line, and then 20 minutes goes by, you finally hook another one and it comes off because you didn't check and you might have had a small little rip in the line. So this line's good to go. We're gonna go back in that little eddy. There's some big fish there. I am using a seven foot 10 fast tip, heavy rod. catch a bass in front of this swan that would be unbelievable I just got hit I called that no way yeah he's still on Look at that. Look at that. Nice bass on the frog. In front of the swan. My neck was burning. I uh, forgot my sun shirt today. So I wrapped my my hoodless sun shirt around my neck, but nice fish. Let's put it back.
Thanks for the best. Unreal. Just caught another one. Had the GoPro off, I'm running out of battery. Oh, dragonflies. Same thing. About the same size as most of them today. Still haven't been able to find that real big fish. Let's put it back. Solid fish though. Alright. Alright, well that's a wrap. I'm exhausted. It's 4 o'clock right now. I fished from 8 o'clock this morning till 4 o'clock. Not the best day out here. Only caught about 10 fish. Missed two. The hookups were pretty good. But what are you going to do? That's fishing. Didn't get anything monstrous today. I'm going to fish probably about another 15 minutes just along the edge uh, while I'm getting back to my truck. Maybe I'll pick one more big one up, but for now, that's probably a wrap. Tomorrow, I'm going to be heading out for some catfish, make a catfishing video for you guys, show you how to catch those big ones in the shallow water in the creeks. And end of the week, I'm still planning on doing that river trip. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's a lot more coming.